With many years of experience working alongside the hardworking men and women of the print and embroidery business, we here at Deco Network want to help you research, create, and promote a brand that people will identify with and want to do business with for many years to come. Here are five steps that you can use to start creating a brand that will help you generate more business and bring your company more overall success within the print and embroidery industry. In order to start creating your brand identity, you first must define what a brand is. A brand is the personality of your business. If someone were to mention your business, what would they say? Is it positive or negative? Think of your brand as a person. What traits and characteristics do you want your brand to have? If you're starting a brand new company, take your time in creating a logo. While your brand logo isn't the end all be all, it will be the most recognizable aspect of your business, so make sure it looks professional. Design a professional website. Having a reliable website that your customers can visit and easily navigate the products that you're offering is crucial and Deco Network can help you with building a stunning interface directly. Spend the time to have professional photos taken of your products and business. Create a message for your business to have a presence on social media. It's 2021, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't have a social media presence, you're definitely behind the curve. If you already have an established business, don't be afraid to rebrand and revamp. Some of the biggest companies in the world have rebranded multiple times. If you think a new logo or a new message would help business, go for it. If you want to set yourself apart from the competition and build a brand that people will identify with, you need to do your research. Who is your target audience? If you're running a print and embroidery business, you want the community your business is located in to use you. Get involved in your community and support the local schools and local businesses that could potentially come to you for apparel in the future. Study your competition. In 2021, finding out the tricks your competitors use is a lot easier with the power of social media. How are your competitors engaging with their followers on Facebook and Instagram? What types of businesses are they producing apparel for? Ask yourself, who are they marketing to? Compare your brand identity to theirs. Does their logo look better than yours? Is their social media presence stronger than yours? Do they have better messaging? But also try to find out what they do poorly and that you can do better. No business is run perfectly. Find a weakness and take advantage of it. Any leg up you can get on the competition, the better. A great way to build a brand is to tell your story. When you're creating or revamping your website, make sure to create an about us section. Why should a customer choose to do business with your company? Let your own voice tell them why. What is your company all about? How did your company get started? How has your business adapted or changed over the years? If your business started in your parents' garage, write about that. Something like that shows how hardworking and dedicated you are to your craft. Have you been a longtime supporter of the local high school's football team? Mention that. Anything you can do to make potential clients respect what you do and want to do business with you is a huge win. Not only for your brand, but for your livelihood. For a reasonable price, you can promote your business with the use of a social media ad that will reach tons of potential customers. You can use email promotions or purchase radio ads, but all should be consistent and on brand. You can also spend time promoting your brand organically by creating your own posts on social media. The last thing you want to do is spam potential customers with tons of posts and emails. No one wants to be overwhelmed with information. That is a quick and easy way to run potential customers off. Be smart with the way you promote. If there are other employees within your company that can help with promoting your brand, Delegate some tasks to them. Don't do everything yourself as you are only one person. Having a good strategy is key. Consistency is key. I'm sure you've heard that cheesy line more times than you can count, but it couldn't be more true. If you're not being consistent with your brand, all of your hard work will be all for naught. Don't be afraid to go bold. 
but make sure you're staying on brand and not backing yourself into a corner. You should stay consistent across all platforms, whether that be face-to-face -face communication or via social media. Never underestimate how slight inconsistencies within your brand can derail your overall goal. Deco Network wants your print and embroidery business to be successful, and we want to help facilitate that. For more information, visit DecoNetwork.com to learn about how we help businesses like yours run more efficiently and ultimately generate more success on a day-to-day -day basis.